another episode of Brotherhood of Pinball. Uh, we're going today to be changing out the LED lights here on the fuel uh, gauge uh, on Metallica Premium, Robbie's game. Uh, the uh, lights from the factory come all in white. Uh, they include this little red filter here, so they're like it's red on empty, I guess. Um, but then it goes white all the way around. Robbie already had and went ahead and got the upgrade, which is uh, these are from Pin Bits, and it'll be red, orange, yellow, white, and then to green for fuel. For the tools that we're going to use on this one, you'll need your nut driver and a quarter of an inch, and then a soldering iron with solder. So that should be it. This will be a pretty uh, down and dirty, quick uh, video of how to swap things out because mainly the only thing that we're going to have to deal with is just soldering and taking a couple of lights off and on. For really everything else intact, I think I can get my iron there without having to uh, melt all those wires. Maybe we'll have to move some and jockey them around there a little bit, but otherwise, uh, rule number one on all this, of course, is to take your cell phone, uh, smartphone if you got one, hopefully you do, if not, use your favorite digital camera. If you still have film, then I feel sorry for you. And then take a nice picture, untrucked of all the wires and where they're going. So when you go to, to put everything back in, everything will match, hopefully. So we're gonna do this uh, one at a time. Let's take this uh, light off. Future. This is what LEDs look like, surface mounted LEDs on a PCB, no more sockets. So instead of screwing in or twisting in, now you gotta solder them in. Um, but this will be an easy day. This is the uh, filter that is being used on this game to make it red. You can go ahead and throw it back on there. We're, the, the LED that we're putting in there is red anyway, but it won't hurt to have it red as well. On the back of the uh, PCB is a ground and then drive or a plus and a minus. That's where we're going to solder the leads onto. Now uh, they're bare right now so they need a little solder on there so we're going to end up putting a, a little dab of solder on there, a little dab of do ya. Uh, so once we put the wires to it it'll connect and have a nice secure connection there. You can see there's just a little bubble of solder on there and then when we get the wires uh, it'll stick to the PCB and have a nice secure connection that's what we want. Okay next step is uh, to take the wires that are on the light and disconnect them. Now on these we took a picture and that's fine um, but the one common denominator on all of these uh, lights is that the white, whether it's white and yellow or white and red or white and pink, the white is all ground on all these lights. And then you have the colors of red and white, red and white, red and white, red and white as the driver. Okay. Add the iron on there, heat up the solder.
so this white one's gonna go on ground, and then the other one's gonna go on dry. And it'll probably be easier if we go ahead and put it back on to plate. So let's do that. So you don't do the RC car thing anymore? Uh, no, not. It does. It's a, another chapter that's done. You get a shelf cleaner that's sitting there. Did you have coworkers that were into it or what? No, it was just some, you know, get that, try to do that uh, father and son thing and just uh, do that good stuff. Yeah, you game on that guitar. We got all the LEDs. Uh, swapped out, soldered in, bolted in, so I'll turn it on. Let's see what we get. Oh yeah, there it is. It almost looks like three oranges. I guess the orange and the yellow kind of... That looks good for me. Yeah. From here. Red looks red. Beautiful. Awesome sauce. Another mod completed. Brotherhood of Pinball.